hello guys hope you are doing well in this, uh, this is my second video and in this video uh, we are going to design a distillation column using red track columns so just start with this new simulation blank simulation create so yes now we are in the property environment just specify the component I am going to go with benzene and toluene because we are going to keep it simple uh, this is going to be a binary distillation so <coughs> just try benzene and the next component is going to be toluene ok so we are done with component specification the next thing is method specifications I am choosing an RTL in the last video uh, I told you about the method assistant you can go and check our different methods based upon uh, the process conditions but for our case uh, NRTL is best so we are done with methods as well now let us quickly move to the simulation environment so yes we have to develop a flow sheet we have to tell us in what uh, are going to be our unit ops so here columns red flags there are different sorts of column available you can check from this help option if you are not sure about the uh, selection of column in my case I am going to select this red flag for one column just put it here right click now you can rename it distill fine now material streams these red streams are mandatory don't forget to leave them otherwise the results are not going to be available I can withdraw this side product as well but for simplicity I am not going to do this just overhead product and bottom product rename them over head and this is this is melted character over head bottom that's fine that is fine now we have to specify the composition the flow rate as well as temperature and pressure of our feed so we just click on this you can take help from a spin from this next input button specify the temperature and pressure of your feed ok let us assume that we have the temperature of our feed equals to 85 degrees celsius and pressure as 3 bar take this as mass basis total flow rate let us assume that we have uh, 100 kg per hour not a very big flow rate but for introductory purposes this is enough and uh, this is going to be equimolar feed don't forget to change the composition as mole fraction sorry mass fraction we are done with the specification of our feet the next thing that has been wants is to provide is the specification of our column so yes, this block double click on this distillation column so yes again in the last video I told you about the different types of calculation you have equilibrium uh, based calculation that is based on vapor liquid equilibrium you have kinetics based uh, calculation but simplicity we are going with this equilibrium type calculation the first stage is let us assume that we have uh, 10 this is going to be binary distillation condenser we have total condenser here ok there is a problem there is a problem 
and uh, saying that yes I cannot you can see that in the specification of the blog I want a total condenser but mistakenly I haven't provided a stream here that is why there's an error so just provide a stream here click on this delete yes name it as overhead sorry okay again blocks isolation column so now we can safely take this as total condenser it's fine distillate ratio we have to satisfy the uh, degree of freedom for our distillation column so i am just taking with this mass basis and remember that our feed was 100 kg per hour as an example uh, let us assume that we want a distillate rate to be 30 kg per hour reflux ratio you can go with mole basis I am going to let this or assume this as 1 now the stream this was the configuration the next thing we are supposed to provide to Aspen Plus is the stream uh, information that where the feed is going to enter the column so you can see that the bottom product is going to be uh, drained from the reboiler that is stage 10 and the overhead product is going to be drained from the condenser so feed for feed uh, we have including the reboiler and condenser we have 10 stages so let us assume that uh, my feed is going to enter in on the sixth stage just change it to on stage that's fine we are done with the stream you can see that uh, this is blue now for pressures uh, we have to provide the condenser pressure as a column specification so condenser pressure for let us assume that we have a condensation at atmospheric pressure so 1.01 bar that's fine we have provided the specification of our feed we have provided uh, we have provided the specification of our column as well now let us run our simulation just go to home uh, if you are not sure if you are uh, if you have a, if you are uncertain about uh, what should I input next just click on this it is saying that input is complete you can run the simulation now you can press this OK to run the simulation or for display purposes just click on this one it is the image processing input specifications now the results are available so if you want to check the results of this column just go to this distillation column here you have the results you can check the column specs here as well let me show you the composition at the topmost that is condenser in our distillate product as well as in our uh, bottom product that is from that is drawn from the boiler so just click on this composition we want to check the composition of benzene in our vapor phase okay but on mass basis just click on this ok and you can see that we are going to have uh, about 0.96 mole fraction benzene in our distillate uh, product and uh, here we are going to have 0.544 mole fraction benzene in our uh, bottom product means you have a lot of benzene still available so what can you do to achieve a greater separation I'm going to vary the 
reflex ratio to achieve more purity okay so let's go to this distillation column again make this reflex ratio as 2 enter again run the simulation now it is again available again distillation column is results compo for a composition vapor phase mass basis and benzene let us see oh, oh yes we are very close we have achieved 0.987 more fraction it's mean that our distillate is going to be 98.7 percent benzene while here in the bottom product we are going to have 0.513 percent benzene so yes we have achieved a greater proportion of benzene in our distillation in our distillate sorry so in this way you can vary the specs of the column and uh, you will have different sort of results Hope you guys will like this video thanks for watching if you have any query post it into the comment section don't forget to like and share this video and do subscribe our channel it's cam e thank you